2011, I had a stroke and uh, it left me paralyzed on my right side. And I thought my riding days were done, but uh, with the help of a friend of mine, uh, he was able to put a motor on a, a very used HP, the Latechnic, and I rode it the first time and knew that uh, the, the dimension of riding was reopened to me at that time. I realized that it is pretty easy to become stale and uh, inactive after having a fairly serious stroke uh, or uh, any brain injury of any kind. Uh, but the motivation for me is I wanted to get better. And uh, I knew that I would probably not get back to the old normal Ray. But soon after I woke up from my stroke, I realized that they're now a new normal. And uh, I learned how to live one-handed in a two-handed world. And that was a matter of process and time. And I have uh, lots of time <laughs> to learn what is going on with me. How do I ride with just one hand? And the good folks at Outrider USA moved all the components on that I need to operate the quad safely are placed on the left hand side. Uh, my right arm is paralyzed and that actually doesn't do anything at all. My right leg is uh, mainly paralyzed, but I have a special pedal that I can Velcro in my foot into it, and we can complete the cycling um, motion um, without much ado. So uh, I am very, very happy with the Outrider experience and even more happy with the people at Outrider. They have been so concerned, compassionate, and they've listened to everything that I, I feel like I had to say to them. And they've responded in such a positive way. I, I, I never felt more secure and safe about dealing with a manufacturer. This, uh, with all this vehicle has on it, uh, it's like uh, Rolls Royce when everything else is like a, a Volkswagen Beetle. So far, I'm so impressed with the Coyote and the ability that I have, thanks to the wonderful engineering, uh, that I can get out and ride longer, uh, actually ride faster, should I choose to. The beauty of owning an Outrider, in my opinion, should you choose to, uh, uh, to have all four batteries, is the wonderful range it affords. And uh, I won't have any more range anxiety uh, the hub motors are much, much quieter, and uh, and whoever thought about having the hub motor incorporated with a chainless system is a genius. <laughs> and so this is so wonderful that I can pedal and uh, not worry about shifting gears. Um, 
uh, all I have to do is either pedal faster or use the thumb throttle. And I'm, I'm very, very happy with both. Well, I realize that the pandemic has really put a wrench into all sorts of businesses and Outrider is no exception, but uh, uh, Tommy and the crew have been as active as they could be in procuring parts that they need, but sometimes there just is no answer other than wait. And I know for a lot of customers and potential customers, that might be a deal breaker or maybe in a lesser extent bring upon animus and vitriol to the company but it's nobody's fault uh, you can't manufacture a part you need for a trike out of thin air and uh, we as customers have to have a better understanding heart and just know that whatever the weight is, it's certainly worth it. My goodness, it was for me. Do I have friends and family that like to ride? Uh, yes, uh, we have something called the Rock River Recumbent Riders. So it's R cubed. <laughs> and uh, uh, we like to ride uh, on Fridays into uh, our local state park called Rock Cut State Park. And we do that and uh, the, not everybody rides a recumbent now, but everyone is welcome and we don't care what they ride. Uh, the camaraderie is important, more important than the type of bike or trike they ride. I don't mind riding alone, not at all. And it, sometimes it's therapeutic to be alone with your thoughts. But when you have others, you, you can ride alongside of them when it's safe and talk about anything. Most times it's not about the bike or the trike. It's about life and what happens or what's coming up or a trip they take. Um, that's, that's the great camaraderie that biking and triking offers. And uh, I look forward to doing, to continue doing that. My goal uh, each and every day is to work out, uh, get tired, uh, uh, move the blood around. How happy am I to be alive? over the moon happy. <laughs> uh, it gets me back into riding. Uh, I sing in a barbershop chorus. I'm active in my church. Uh, uh, my life is full and where once I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life in bed, that turned out not to be the case. Uh, my faith in God was the most important thing for me to recover to the point that I am. And I live each day to the fullest. I'm so grateful that I got a second chance, another bite at the apple, when in a similar circumstances, other people did not. And I am so grateful. My, my heart is full of gratefulness and thanksgiving that I could come here to North Carolina and do this and, and, and realize that very soon I'm going to ride this wonderful trike uh, back at, in when I get at home and have a great time doing it. Um, the, I think the key for most stroke survivors is the want to inside of them to get better. In high school, I wrestled four years and uh, my coach was the most influential coach that I ever had. 
and he taught me, don't give up just because you're losing. You fight through it till the very end. And I learned that lesson in high school, and I applied it, the same lesson, when I got sick with the stroke. So uh, you're not going to see me grouse and complain too much because there's too much in life that's worth living. Boy, I sound like a preacher. <laughs>